Welcome back to Security Simplified. Race conditions are one of the most interesting vulnerabilities that I've got to learn about. These vulnerabilities stem from simple programming mistakes that developers commonly make and have been used by hackers to steal money from online banks, stock brokerages, and cryptocurrency exchanges. Today, let's talk about how and why these vulnerabilities happen, how attackers have exploited them, and how to prevent them in your own applications. Want to get rewarded for finding security bugs like this one? Integrity is a bug bounty platform that pays you for reporting security vulnerabilities. With more than 100 public and private targets to test your skills on, you can test your hacking skills on real targets legally and get rewarded for it. Sign up now with the link in the description. Before we dive into the ins and outs of race conditions, you need to first understand what concurrency in computing is. In computer science, concurrency is when different parts of a program can be executed simultaneously without affecting the outcome of the program. Concurrency can drastically improve the performance of your programs. And there are two types of concurrency, multi-processing and multi-threading. Multi-processing refers to, the, to using multiple CPUs for computation at the same time, while multi-threading is the ability of a single CPU to provide multiple threads of execution. These threads don't all execute at the same time, but take turns using the CPU's computational power. With multi-threading, other threads can continue taking advantage of the unused computing resources while they are idle. For example, when one thread is suspended while waiting for user input, another can take over the CPU to execute its computations. A race, computation, a race condition happens when two sections of code that are designed to be executed in a sequence were executed out of sequence. Since the scheduling algorithm can swap between the execution of two threads at any time, you can predict the sequence in which the threads execute each action. For example, let's say that two concurrent threads of execution are trying to increase the value of a global variable by one. So in the end, the global variable will have the value of two. Ideally, the threads will be executed as such. But what if the execution of the threads are scheduled like this? In this case, the final value of the global variable becomes one, which is incorrect. This is a race condition bug. Race conditions happen when the outcome of the execution of one thread depends on the outcome of another thread, and when the two threads operate on the same resources without considering that other threads are also using the same resources. When these two threads are executed simultaneously, unexpected outcomes can occur. An erase condition becomes a vulnerability when it affects a security control mechanism. Attackers can then induce a situation in which a sensitive action is executed before a security control is completed. For this reason, race condition vulnerabilities are also referred to as time of check, time of use vulnerabilities. Imagine if the two threads of the above example are executing something a little more sensitive, the transferring of money between bank accounts. The application would have to perform three subtexts to transfer the money correctly. It will have to first check if account A have enough balance, and then add the money to account B, and then finally deduct the money from account A. Let's say that you own two bank accounts, accounts A and B. You have $500 in account A and $0 in account B. Now, you initiate two money transfers of $500 from account A to account B. Ideally, when these two money transfer requests were initiated, the program should behave like this. But if you can send the two requests simultaneously, you might be able to induce a situation in which the execution of threads become like this. In this scenario, you end up with more money than you started with. You essentially made an additional $500 appear by exploiting a race condition vulnerability.
So how do you prevent these dangerous vulnerabilities? The key to preventing race conditions is to implement safe concurrency. And the best way to do this is by using resource locks so that threats do not operate on the same resources simultaneously. Most programming languages that have concurrency abilities will also have some sort of locking functionality built in. Refer to the documentation of your chosen language and learn how to do it. Beyond that, following secure coding practices like the principle of least privilege and auditing code on a regular basis will reduce the likelihood of your application being compromised. And that's it for today's security lesson. See you next time.